Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is hopefully going to be posted on Monday the 28th as my final tag Monday of December. So this has been 31 days of Kenya and yay, it's almost over. <laughs> so I wasn't planning on recording this today, but I had to like do something to my hair and put makeup on for an interview I was doing for work. So I figured I'm not gonna waste it. I'm gonna do a video. So for this last Tag Monday, I'm going to do, oh, I wish I could remember the exact name, the 10 year challenge tag. I saw this tag first with Rincey Reads. She had seen the 10 year challenge, I think on blogs and stuff and decided to make it a video. So I'm doing it today, 10 year challenge. So what I should have done was to copy out the full questions from the tag, but I didn't. I just copied out some like prompts thinking that I would remember what the whole question was. And maybe I do, but maybe I don't. So I'm really sorry. I'm apologizing to Rincey and to the creators of this tag because maybe I'm totally getting it wrong. But the first question, so the point of the tag is that you look back 10 years and make some comparisons between your reading habits and whatever 10 years ago versus today. So I'm gonna use 2010, cause that's the easiest way to think about 10 years, but I actually think that comes out to 11 years, but I didn't major in math. <laughs> anyway, the first question is favorite books of 2010 and then your favorite books of 2020. So I used my Goodreads. I joined Goodreads in 2009, I believe. And in 2009, I was finishing up graduate school and moving to um, here, to New York. So the year before that, I had an internship in St. Louis. And looking back at that 2009, it looks like maybe I read about 23 books or so. And then when I moved here to Rochester, I was a postdoctoral fellow and um, my reading kind of shot up that year. So that makes sense because I was done with my dissertation and everything. So in 2010, some of my favorite books based on rating, because I have no recollection of any of this stuff. One of the top rated books was Renegade by Ted Decker. I don't remember loving him that much, but apparently I loved that book. I loved one of the Vampire Academy books, also a shock to me. And I loved a Gina Showalter book, and I actually thought I didn't like Gina Showalter that much. So I must have had a different idea about that, or I kept reading her and had a different idea with some of the later books I read of hers. But Hunger Games and the Unwind series were both top picks for me in 2010, which isn't surprising to me at all. I actually remember loving them and have actually reread them since that time. So for 2020, some top books this year, not to give too much away because I'm going to do a top five ratings for 2020, but some of my top reads for this year were Bookish Life of Nina Hill, which I love. And I think I love most books about books and bookish people in libraries and stuff. Legend Born, which I've talked about in every single video since I've read it. <laughs> and These Violent Delights, which I read two weeks ago and also loved. It's just Shakespeare retelling. I also this year reread Holes by Sacker. I don't remember his first name. And I love that book. It's a middle grade book about a boy who goes to a detention center, detention camp, and has to dig holes. And there's all this like back and forth between history and stuff. So I love that book. I love that movie. One of the very few times you'll hear me say that I love both the book and the movie. Okay, so the next set of questions, as you might guess, is the least favorite books of 2010, 2020. So the two books that were kind of the lowest ratings for 2010 were... Evermore by, who wrote that book? Alison Noel. And that Deliverance Dane book, I don't remember the whole title, Physic something, something, Deliverance Dane. I didn't like either of those two books. For Evermore, I actually periodically think about how much I didn't like that book still, 10 years later. 
um, for least favorite picks of 2020. Vinegar Girl by Ann Tyler. I read that for my Read Women book club. And I don't think it was Ann Tyler I didn't like. I think it was the story. It was a Taming of the Shrew retelling. And I think that she just stuck too close to the main character's, like, the main dude's plot line thing. Like, I just didn't like the story very much. And then the other one, which I liked okay, I guess, but it was a disappointment, was the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. I didn't like that book. <laughs> it was one of my least favorite picks this year. When really it was mostly, it was kind of disappointing because a lot of people have been talking about it. Oh, another book that I really liked in 2010 that I'd forgotten about, um, but I think about sometimes is Double Blind by um, the guy with the long last name that I don't remember. And there's a woman on the front riding her bicycle. I loved that book. I was really surprised by how much I loved that book. I wasn't ready for it and it was really good. And there was like a twist or something at the end. So I didn't want to forget about telling you about that one. David? Matt? I don't remember. What's a book you were reading a lot in 2010? So when I go through the 2010 books, it's a lot of Holly Black and Hunger Games and Cornelia Funke and all of that. <laughs> Gina Showalter. Um, I read this series or most of the series, The Secret Life of Nicholas Flamel that year. So lots of fantasy, both high and not. Um, and just, I think, you know, like I said, the year before that, I hadn't read as much. It had been maybe 23 books or so. And I think I was shaken off a bit of a funk from school. So I've been in school forever and then uh, fan I leaped headfirst into a bunch of fantasy series. The Unwind series, which I loved and I still love. I reread that one. And then the next question is what's a, a genre that you want to read more about or you've discovered since then? And I've read so much more historical fiction since then. Um, in 2010, I wouldn't have said that I was a fan of romance novels, and I'm definitely a fan of romance novels now. I never, ever, ever used to reread anything, and I have reread several classics as well as several favorites, which I think has given me different experiences of the books when I've read them again. And then science fiction. So I think I thought I was more into science fiction back then than I really was. And then I was reading a little bit of science fiction. I didn't really like it as much as I thought. And then now there are some science fiction that I really like. And it's kind of like country music for me, <laughs> where there are certain kinds of country music that is just not my bag. Um, but if it's popular country music, I kind of like it. You know, if it's Rascal Flats, I'm into it. But not so much some of the other kind of like older country or the country that that people were listening to when I grew up in Texas. So like science fiction, like The Haunting of Tram Car 015, I loved it. But science fiction like Lovecraft, still not my thing. So, you know, different, different stuff. And is that science fiction or fantasy? Science fiction like Dune then, like still still not always my favorite. Oh, is that true? I don't know. I might be talking out of my butt on this one, people. <laughs> What's something you want to leave behind? So all I wrote would leave behind, and I'm not sure if that means something in general or a reading habit. I want to... One of my goals over the last couple of years has been not to be afraid to DNF books. So I've gotten much better about that. I want to leave behind checking out a bunch of books at once from the library and knowing perfectly well that there's no way in hell I would be able to read all of those in the time I've got them for. I want to be maybe have a little bit more awareness and mindfulness and self-control when it comes to checking out library books. That's what I want to leave behind, being a crazy person in the library. And then what's a new goal you want to take into the new year? 
Hmm. I want to, well, one of them is based on, is probably more of a YouTube goal. I really want to do more live chats and I want to participate in other people's sprints a little bit more because I think those are becoming really popular and I want to see what that's all about. I, so I guess really I want to interact a little bit more with the book community, get to know more booktubers and bookstagrammers and do more interaction kinds of things. I guess. It's going to be some heavy editing on this video. I'm just like. <laughs> All right. I think that's it. I'll catch you on the next one.